Raiden Fighters Aces. It's nice to see a game like this on the Xbox 360, handling the action with ease. No slowdown, no choppiness, just smooth spaceship versus endless, mindless hordes of enemies action. That's the way I like it. We don't worry about why these people, monsters or aliens, are flying these elaborate spaceships and vehicles into certain death. We just enjoy the fact that they do. And try to dodge whatever projectiles are fired at you. Well, they're not really spaceships because they're not in space. But when you think about it, we're all in space. So yeah, they're spaceships. It's a spaceship shooting game. Even if they were underwater, they would still be spaceships because water is also in space. It's, it's just one of those things. It's a good thing you never run out of ammo in this game. Spaceship shoot 'em ups or shmups for short, are one of my favorite genres. And one of the least represented forms of video game being released these days. Back in the day on the Nintendo Entertainment System, on the Genesis, Super Nintendo, Sega Saturn, PlayStation 1, even the Dreamcast, there were loads of spaceship shooters being released. Then came the first person shooter, and they pretty much went away. Even, even before the first-person shooter became popular, even as, as early as the mid-90s, many of the big spaceship shooting games were just being released in Japan, denied to a Western market. Kind of sucks because many of us love these games. Fortunately, these days you can pick up a Sega Saturn or, or a PlayStation and easily get around the region encoding thing and import games. It just isn't terribly cheap. So it's nice to see a Western release where you get three shooting games on one disc for an extremely affordable price. And this packs a ton of gameplay and lots of fun. Isn't that why we play these games to begin with? You don't have to worry about obsessing over getting a headshot on your enemy because what you want to do in this game is blow up your enemy before you even see them. I like the nice, easy listening soundtrack to this game, and I'm surprised I even made it through this level because I could barely see what was going on. There's so much stuff going on on screen at one time in this game, it's just wonderful. That's part of the fun, figuring out how to get through these levels, and the coolest thing about Raiden Fighters Aces is not that you get three different games, because frankly all three games are fairly similar, it's that you get a stack of spaceships to play with. Each of the spaceships or planes is different. They have different weapons, different special powered up weapons. Some are faster than others, have higher defense. There's so many different ways you can tear into this game. I think most of the fun in here comes with figuring out which plane works best for you and what can you do to get the highest score. My favorites are the ones which are the fastest, but the weakest. Because the way I look at it, it doesn't matter how strong your plane is if you can hit with something and blow up. So you may as well at least be able to dodge things. But they're difficult to use when the screen is full of flashing, blinking projectiles that all want to kill you. The three games that you get on here are Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2, and Raiden Fighters Jet. I don't think any one of them is as good as Raiden 3, but this entire release is amazing. For one thing, it's an extremely affordable release for the amount of action that you get. 
I started the review with Raiden Fighters Jet. We were just watching Raiden Fighters, and this is Raiden Fighters 2, which I've probably spent the most time with. I think that Raiden Fighters 2 is the most well-balanced of the three games. Let's take a look at some of the different planes. I prefer the ones that shoot straight forward instead of throwing things all over the screen. I, I find that distracting. But uh, some of these can be used in very, in very creative ways. It's like they'll take out enemies long before you see them. The stronger ones are just not that fast, which makes dodging intricate attack patterns extremely difficult. And if you see something at the last second, it's harder to move out of the way. That's why I like the faster ones. Raiden Fighters Aces gives you many different ways to tailor the gameplay to fit your needs. You can adjust the difficulty, you can adjust how things are scored, you can adjust how you play through the levels. There's a local two-player co-op mode, so you can play with a friend on screen at the same time. There's even a co-op attack thing that you can pull off. This is an Xbox 360 exclusive. It's a packaged game, so not a downloadable one on Xbox Live Arcade. There is a global score competition thing on Xbox Live and achievement points in here which are fun to go for in Raiden Fighters Aces. I'd like to see more of these being released these days. You can say there's a slight resurgence in two-dimensional spaceship shooters, but when you look at all of the games being released as a whole, there really isn't. A few of them may trickle on to Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network, but we need more. And there's no shortage of Japanese releases in the 90s that just did not get sent over to the West. Just put them all on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network. Or the Wii. Come to think of it, the Virtual Console has quite a few shooters from the Sega Genesis and TurboGrafx-16. And Super Nintendo. I'd like to see more of the arcade ones, though, and remastered high-definition versions. I'd also like to hang out with Santa Claus. How, how much work can it be? You don't need to translate them. We don't care why we're blowing up mindless hordes of enemies, just that we're able to blow up mindless hordes of enemies with ridiculous weaponry on spaceships or airplanes or submarines which perform like spaceships. You don't even have to market them. We'll find them. So bravo to everyone who brought us Raiden Fighters Aces. That's bananas.